I was going to re-record the intro for this episode, but actually it's very short and there's no way in hell I can duplicate what I Because what I did is I rewatched the intro for that last episode and then tried to distill it and condense it down and present it to you. you know, like you saw that for the last episode. I was going to do the same for this one. Then I watched this one and I was like, there's no way I can duplicate this. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it. It's going to sound like shit, but at least it's short. Because my worry was it would be like fucking, you know, six minutes of shit. You have to listen to shitty audio for six minutes. But yeah, just in case somehow you don't remember or you didn't see the intro for the last episode. Um, that sounds shitty. It's my fault. These are the only two episodes it's going to happen with. So let's just get into this. I just finished recording the last episode. That file was an hour and 13 minutes long. An hour and 13 fucking minutes for a 41 minute episode. Man, I'm going to shut the fuck up and just watch this episode. No sidebars, no long intro, no long outro. I'm just going to watch the fucking episode. This is going to come in at a very tight 43 minutes. A tight 43 minutes. Let's do this shit. Well, this is a weird start. (laughs) I guess he's back in the open market, right? $1,000. How's that make you feel? Well. You're not supposed to talk. This is very creepy, Don. I assume this is business related, but are they in their hotel room? That's not good. At first, I thought it was the office. And when I tell you, you're going to put your leg on that chair. This is the burning building out of the pavement. What the hell is this? <laughs> Come on, man. We're burning money here, man. You've wasted like a whole day of shooting so far. What the fuck is this? By the way, since they're wasting time, let me go back to the previous episode. I was so afraid they were going to have some long, drawn-out fucking storyline with uh, Sally. <laughs> okay, now we got it. The buffer is here. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Pausing mark. <laughs> they, man, they got me. They fucking got me. Knowing this son of a bitch, kind of looking like he was in a hotel room, not knowing how long they dragged it out, and then we fucking finally revealed there's about eight other dudes sitting in the fucking room. That's fucking comedy gold, man. <laughs> you fucking got me, you sons of bitches. At first, I thought it was business. Then I thought, okay, it can't possibly be business. And then they pan around, there's like eight fucking dudes. And <laughs> you fucking got me, motherfuckers. Let me just put a pin on what I was saying. Fucking sidebar. I, was, I, I can't help myself, man. I'm going to keep this a tight 30 seconds. A tight 30 seconds. They, they got me at the bait and switch last episode. Because it looked like they were going to do some stupid fucking storyline where she's in love with some jock and it was going to be fucking stupid. And they just really didn't do that. And then she kisses some nerd, man. Very interesting. Like, and what I, what was so good about that was he had this idea, oh, man, space is stupid. Let's not waste any money on space. And she repeats after her father gets called out on it, realizes this guy's a moron. Fuck this dude. And then she runs into this other guy, assuming, I th- assuming that's that dude's younger brother, talking about... You know, space is cool. You know, intellectual shit is cool. Nerd shit is cool. And she actually liked that more. That was a great fucking... And what was it? Like four minutes of screen time total? It wasn't very much screen time at all, man. Like, I was wrong about... I thought that was going to be tedious. Instead, it was it was very interesting and it was very clever. That's right. You come in here. So, what happened? Let's do it again. Run it back. God damn, dog. Four way? So put the toaster. <laughs> yeah, this some bitch pour for a flask. What is this, Halloween? What the fuck is with that mustache? Are they in Halloween costumes? Indestructible. We can't have any more massive time jumps. I'm convinced this series is over. New Year's Eve, 1969, and we already know that we're past January. We already know we're past July 20th, 1969. The most the time jump could be would be four months, and they're not going to do that with seven episodes left. Ran to his aid. So Abigail didn't move. this has only been a couple weeks. Unless one of my assumptions is wrong. Stories about how poor he was. I hate that mustache on him. Like I cannot tell you how much I hate that mustache on him. I'm sorry about my He's friend. A dick. Witty. Do I know you? I don't think so. Does he know her? He was just talking about his past. I think I owe someone an apology. I don't do it. Yep. That's dick. Dollars. Well, I know. I'm rich. You, off. you decide who. Yeah, <laughs> fight for it. Here's a pool stick. We'll we'll break it into three pieces. Decide which two babes we got. They're living large, apparently. He knows her, man. I wonder how. 
Tell you what, man, I would let somebody be rude to me now for a hundred dollars. Can you imagine back then? I mean, that was probably the equivalent of what five hundred bucks. Meryl. Yeah. And what are you doing? Oh here? shit! She wants to smash. Give me Trisha's number. <laughs> Fantastic. He is living large. Is the point? That's the one. Is that the one that was hitting on him a couple episodes ago, earlier this season? <laughs> God damn, dude! So Jesus, man! Look, You're she's hot. Serious. She's mostly naked. I would forgive her. But goddamn, man, be more careful. Jesus, look at that shit. That fucking, that's ruined, man. Might as well rip it up. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fucking animal. Oh, shit. Thanks for bringing that up. Oh, I remember those. Hands calls them legs. I remember those. The crap. It was a fucking little eggshell container. I love that. I used to love that as a kid. More than the and only $1.39 a pair. What we need to Hell yeah, man. And by the way, you think topaz are cheap. Although apparently, not cheap enough. But I just <laughs> want to spend money where it'll make a difference. And Mr. Potato Head here can relax, because he'll still make his Mr. Potato Head? I'm a partner, bitch. Kenneth, we had a problem. But we solved it. Really? I don't think you did. Well? What are they, Vanilla Ice? Give me a problem, I'll solve it. How is the party? David Bailey <laughs> wants to take your picture. She still wants to smash, doesn't she? Plans tonight, so I'll be leaving at five on the dot, and I don't want to hear about it. Yeah! <laughs> Lasting in an hour. Is, has she gotten more smart, or am I crazy? She's still a delight, don't get me wrong, but that scene last episode was fucking hilarious. You want to raise? Stop acting like a secretary. This is not. Oh, shit. I thought you could join Julie and I for dinner. He's very Oh, shit. He's trying to fix her up. You're setting me up. He has a call. <laughs> it's very sweet. <laughs> you have to question your judgment. Really? Oh, you're a catch. Thank you. But how <laughs> do you think it's anything to do with work? Or he's homely or anything happens, good or bad. Ew. Think really? No. I no? Didn't anticipate any of this. <laughs> His <laughs> wife put him up this shit. Tell yeah. <laughs> His wife put him up that shit. That's what that is. Keep it in the past, Don. Jesus Christ, man. I tried to arrange a meeting, but Meredith explained how much work you have to do. Yeah, they still hate each other. I wish they'd bury the hatchet, because I want to like her. Sure. I'm on Don's side, though. And their solution was a knockoff Topaz. Yeah, but they're a drugstore brand. That's what Topaz is. Oh, right. Doesn't McCann represent Marshall Fields? Remind them it's a two-way street. Good point. It is a two-way street. There's a little underlying tension there, but I'm into it. Uh, oh shit, man! Now head of plastics at Dallas. Not only does he play the devil on Reaper, but I've been watching this motherfucker in Twin Peaks, man. Mm. He has been excellent on that show. Quite evil, like very, very evil, but excellent. Wake a sleeping baby. I, I want to rewatch yet. Reaper. That show is so fucking good. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. What is it, honey? A pop tart head. Pop tart. That's not cooking, asshole. If they have very much more bad facial hair in this show, I don't know if I can handle it, man. I was wondering about her. I was literally going to reference her because they talk about Macy's, right? They talk about Macy's, and um, it reminded me, she, her father owned a store like it was similar to Macy's. I, can't remember, I don't think it was Macy's. It was some Jewish version of Macy's, wasn't it? And it made me think of her. That was a great... If they did that on purpose, if they brought that shit up, just so we would think of her, think back to season one, and then they introduce her and bring her back into the show like a couple scenes later. Mm, that is great fucking writing, man. That's how you do that. You don't just say, hey, remember Rachel? You know, that's heavy-handed. Ham-fisted, right? What you do is you mention something that will remind the audience, most of the audience, of that character, and then you bring the character in. That's fucking brilliant, man. I love that shit. And now, you know, this was season one shit, right? Maybe this is end game shit. Maybe he'll get back to her now that he's ready. He's not fucking. He's been through two wives now. Fresh on the market. Interesting. Maybe he's had more delusions though. Maybe it's not really her. If you've seen season three of Alien McBeal, you know what I'm thinking of. 
Yeah, this dude, man. Rachel. I wonder if he dies at the end of the series. But you're smooth. Wilkinson <laughs> smooth. <laughs> yep. See how that character changed too? Like this is a, he's either delusion or he's dreaming. Yeah. If that's her only appearance in season seven, that's brilliant. But I'm telling you, man, like I've seen season three of Ali McBeal. I'm starting to worry that like he's got some kind of brain aneurysm or brain cancer or some shit. Brain tumor. And they're going to finish the series with him dead, man. I, I don't like that at all. I'm not feeling it. I can see it happening, though. They got his uh, missing eye in shadow. Pretty good uh, framing. Honey, he loved his job. But you don't. She wants him to retire. I should never tell you anything. And I yeah. think I'm going to be <laughs> You're using it against me. Farm. You could write your book. Yeah. Let's farm. What book? Something it's silly. called Mad Men. I saw a YouTube video saying that this entire series is, was a book written by him. Your father was a cog in a giant machine that makes weapons and poison. <laughs> and I'm yeah, now we made the baby cry. If, there's always another <laughs> hurdle. You're not listening to yeah. me at all. I'm kind of on her side. If her family has money, which means she has money, take the deal, dude. <laughs> Fuck work. <laughs> Don't it's five hours. Yeah. I guess the, the ship has sailed on these sidebars. Jesus, man. This show makes me talk outside of the show more than any fucking else thing I do. That's why it takes so goddamn long to edit this shit, man. Like, I swear to God, assuming you see this at all, every fucking sidebar you see that I have I've left in this video, I edited one out. There's one gone. Like, because this show makes me fucking stop and pause it and talk eight times an episode. I swear to God. But hey, let, you know, let's actually get to what I want to say here. I'm going to tell you what I've told many of these actors. Like, if somebody's a working actor and they're making, they're getting a lot of gigs and they're making a lot of money, and, you know, a lot of, like, you know, I worked with a lot of teenage actors, right? So, say they're 18 years old. They just finished high school. They're booking 10, 12 gigs a year. They're making a lot of money on these gigs. Their career path is going up. But they're like, I want to put my career on hold for a couple years and go to college. The whole point of going to college is to create a resume that allow you to get a job where you can make a lot of money. Well, if your job is acting and you're getting steady work, why would you put your steady work on hold to go to fucking college and get like an acting degree when you could just stay working, get on the job experience, and then, you know, be making money instead of sp spending money? Instead of spending money in college, you're making money. It's, it would be stupid to do that. You see a lot of people do that. The goal of work is to get money. You know, the goal of college is to get a job where you can make money, right? You see what I'm saying? So the goal of work is to make money. So if you've achieved a certain level of the money you need to be comfortable, like to meet your needs and be comfortable, why would you keep working? Well, in my case, I love what I do. So I guess you would keep working if you love what you do. Clearly, Kenny doesn't love what he does. So he should take the deal. Like, what is he doing here? Like, maybe it's a macho thing? It must be a macho thing, right? Because if you have the money available, you've made money, your wife has money, your car costs you a fucking eye. Why wouldn't you just, like, you know, quit the fucking business, retire to a farm or some shit, right? That's what I would do. Like, uh, if I was in that situation. Me, I, I do this for very low money because I love I love what I do. I enjoy this. I have fun. Every day is fun. This is not hard work for me. But if they're grinding, and it's like shortening their lifespan, like, what are they doing that for if they've already made the money, you know? Also... Again, another Meredith scene. <laughs> she is cracking me the fuck up, man. I, I never know what I'm going to get with her. You're late. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You're late, bitch. Casting old on time. Can't you smell the cheap? Get his ass. Quit smelling me. Can you call Rachel Katz and make it some it's regarding Topaz pantyhose? Of course. Yeah, that's right. That that fucking dream gave him a good idea. They weren't just bringing her in for a dream. That's for goddamn sure. He's going to end up with her, isn't he? has the high quality to wear a department store name. It is a growing a naming of deal. That, that's a good idea. Three months, legs has sold eight. So they're worried that legs are going to spread all over the world? Wouldn't bother me at all. <laughs> Hardy are her asshole. And I'd be happy to meet you. Especially Dan Higgins. Yeah, <laughs> what an asshole. Would you be able to tell him what's so special? Hmm. Do you wear them Just set the meeting, motherfucker. Actually, you talk to Dan, I'd start with that. <laughs> God, these are assholes. <laughs> Why aren't you in the Brazier business? Jesus, dude. Excuse me? 
You're I don't even on. like her right now. Like the way she came at Don a couple episodes ago in the last episode pissed me off. What are the billings? If you take a look at this, she just look at the sheet, Dick. I have a feeling he's on his way out of here. Surely, but I walked to work today. And Mr. Sterling and Mr. Donnelly are here. Yeah, I don't care about your small talk, bitch. You know Ferguson Donnelly from McCann? I can't with his mustache, of course, man. Ferg. I thought it was a, I literally thought it was a Halloween costume. Did you send Ed Baxter a $200 set of McGregor golf clubs from the firm? Sure, why not? We don't want you on the business because we don't want you on any business. They are getting rid of it. Ferg, you're not still mad at me for leaving that. But they don't walk out with $4 million of bird's eye products. Yeah, he's pissed. They don't walk around the office like this shit doesn't stink. <laughs> out until the world were what? A bunch of black Irish thugs. <laughs> this is personal. You fire me because I hurt Ferg's feelings? It's what he is. Look at him. Fuck him. Yes, but you're going to get a generous severance package if you help Pete secure all of your accounts. Get me paid, I guess. Roger said he'd be glad to recommend you. <laughs> Eat my Thank ass. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate your loyalty. This is bullshit, man. <laughs> there may be shit going on I'm not aware of. They, met, they referenced, alluded to a couple things, I should say. But that's bullshit. Should we have lunch? Hell no. I want to burn this place down. <laughs> they were awful. I feel her. At least we got a yes. I don't expect you to understand. Oh, shit. You don't have big tits like me. I don't know. You can't have it both ways. You can't dress the way you do. Oh, shit. Look, really? We're going there? Seriously, either. It's the way you do. Because I don't look like you. <laughs> very, very true. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Take that. You're filthy rich. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> you're a partner. This new deal, she got, what, several million dollars? How was the cattle call? <laughs> have another session. Shameless. You know that? Get his ass. Do I have a lunch today? Scheduled a meeting next Monday. How dare you? Mr. Rosenthal at Mankin's department. Mrs. Katz didn't want to meet? Well, it was a very awkward... Oh, shit. ...down a few months oh, ago. Oh, really? Okay. And passed away last week. God damn, man. Really? The fuck? Rachel Katz. Holy shit. Well, I'm sorry to tell you that. Well, clearly he didn't know. Clearly he didn't fucking know if he's trying to set a meeting with her. What do you mean you're sorry to tell him that? That should be what you lead with, man. She really is a moron. Okay, this is the first time I'm annoyed with her. The fuck, man? Hey, man, um, you know, this person that died like a couple days ago, I want you to set a meeting with him. Yeah, I know he's dead, but I want you to set a meeting with her. Who the fuck would do that? Clearly he thinks she's still alive, so you come in there and you tell him that shit first. Then you say, do you still want to meet? You know? Like, yeah, she really is a moron. There's funny moron, and then there's annoying moron. And she really does skate that line, doesn't she? Jesus, man. That's a weird dream he had right after what happened with Bert. How old was she? I don't know. Younger than me. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. You can send a donation to the National Jewish Hospital at Denver. Do you want to do Hell that? Hell no. No. <laughs> I didn't expect him to actually say no. Sure. I'm going to run down and get you a sandwich. <laughs> All right. Fine. I'm back in her good graces. She's back in my good graces. <laughs> the fuck is a sandwich going to do, man? 